Thirsty Greta? A little. Hmm. Well, can you tell me a couple of ways that people can conserve water? I think there's gray water. That's right, gray water collection. Do you know what that is? Is it gray water? No. Well, actually, yes, it kind of is. It's the water that you get rid of when you, say, for example, let the water out from a tub or the water that comes out of the washing machine or the dishwasher. All that water gets collected up and it can be used for other things like your lawn. Can you think of another way that you can conserve water? There's rain barrel collecting. That's right. Rain barrels collect runoff water, water that's, say, coming off your roof or down your drains and things like that. And that can be used for things like your garden or for, you know, washing your car maybe. But have you ever given any thought to run up water collection? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Well, you're, you're drinking it now. Come on, I'll show you what I mean. So run up water is the water we waste while we're waiting to get to the temperature we want. And let's see how much water it takes, how much water we waste before we get, say, temperature warm enough for washing dishes. Four liters, it's still not very warm. Let's go to the second one. It's getting warmer. Getting warmer. Warm enough for a bath? No. Not yet. Okay. Yeah, it's warm enough for a bath for me, but I think I would like to have it a bit warmer if I was washing dishes. Getting there? Uh-huh. Yeah, but still, look at that. Now imagine you were just letting that all run down the drain. That's, well, you paid to heat it, and it's a natural resource as well. That's crazy. Yeah, it is, isn't it? What do you think? Got some steam coming off now. So there we go. I, I think, think that would warm. be warm enough to do a good job on dishes. So what do you think? And a bath. We've got probably about seven liters of water that we would have just let run down the drain. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. When you've got all the water, what do you use it for? Oh, well, I use it for a lot of different things. I use it for things like flowers, or I use it for cooking, or cleaning, or, gosh, even watering plants. The important thing is you don't let a precious natural resource run down the drain. So it took us almost eight liters of water to get up to temperature to do a sink full of dishes. Now, eight liters may not seem like a lot of water, but think about eight liters every day for one year. You'd have enough water to fill up a backyard swimming pool. Think about it the next time you're running the tap.